the search engine google is showing this doodle in few countries for helen rodriguez trias 89th birthday helen rodriguez trias was a pediatrician educator and human rights activist she was the first latina president of the american public health association a founding member of the women's caucus of the american public health association and the recipient of the presidential citizens medal She is credited with helping to expand the range of public health services for women and children in minority and low income populations in the United States, Central and South America, Africa, Asia and the Middle East. Rodriguez uh, Trias parents moved to New York City from Puerto Rico in the early half of the 20th century. After her birth, her family returned to Puerto Rico only to return to New York in 1939. In New York, Rodriguez Trias experienced racism and discrimination for the sole reason that she was Puerto Rican. In school, she was placed in a class with students who were academically handicapped, even though she had good grades and knew how to speak English. After she participated in a poem recital, her teacher realized that she was a gifted child and sent her to a class with gifted children. Rodriguez Trias graduated from the University of Puerto Rico in 1957 where she became a student activist on issues such as freedom of speech and Puerto Rican independence. Later she re-enrolled at the University of Puerto Rico to study medicine. She obtained her medical degree with the highest honors in 1960. During her residency she established the first center for the care of newborn babies in Puerto Rico under her direction the hospital's uh, death rate for newborns decreased 50% within 3 years when she returned to New York in 1970 Dr Rodriguez Trias decided to work in community medicine at Lincoln Hospital which serves a largely Puerto Rican section of the South Bronx she headed the department of pediatrics her patients among the lowest income populations in the United States at that time were struggling for greater political power and better health care at Lincoln Hospital Rodriguez Trias lobbied to give all workers a voice in administrative and patient care issues She also tried to raise awareness of cultural issues in the Puerto Rican community amongst uh, healthcare workers at the hospital. At that time she was also an associate professor of medicine at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, Yeshiva University and later taught at Columbia and uh, Fordham universities. Throughout the 1970s Dr. Rodriguez Trias was an active member of the women's health movement. After attending a conference on abortion at Barnard College in 1970, she focused on reproductive rights. Rodriguez uh, Trias joined the effort to stop sterilization abuse. Poor women, women of color and women with physical disabilities were far more likely to be sterilized than white uh, middle class women. In Puerto Rico, for example, between 1938 and uh, 1968, Yeah, third of women of uh, childbearing age were sterilized without being fully informed of its consequences. Rodriguez Trias was a founding member of both the Committee to End Sterilization Abuse and Committee for Abortion Rights and Against Sterilization Abuse and testified before the Department of uh, Health, Education and uh, Welfare for passage of Federal Sterilization Guidelines in 1979. The guidelines which she helped draft recover a woman's written consent to sterilization offered in a language they can understand and set a waiting period between the consent and the sterilization procedure. 